Namaste, my beautiful queens. In spite of the fact everyone is celebrating Christmas Eve today, I already celebrated, but of course you are on my mind and I cannot miss such a night because um, for uh, centuries, for thousands of years, these nights and 12 nights till the new year, but especially three nights from 24th to 25th, from 31st of January to uh, 30, 31st December to January 1st, and from January 6th to January 7th, those three nights which were used by uh, people, by especially women, for um, looking into their future, receiving the messages from the guides, the guardians. And I want to do two, uh, hopefully today, tonight, I want to do them. One for them, I want to do for your future man, the one who is coming into your life, we will see if he is coming, when he is coming, who he is going to be, but this is going to be not in this video. In this video, I want to receive deep messages from your guides, from your guardians. I will use the um, Grand Lux deck and I will take out only three cards because when I have to go into the depth of the meaning which even when I explain you the cards meaning I don't go into the so-called deep meaning or esoteric meaning because it's simply it too deep and could be too complicated for you but now this magical night from 24th to 25th I will take out three cards and will tell you what your guardians your keepers your guides your higher self however you want to call it will tell you tonight the message for the year to come uh, I would recommend you listen the whole video no matter what <clears throat> number you choose let us go and do it I, I only will do three cards on this night of 24th to 25th the magical nights when the borders between the realities and worlds are not as solid I am addressing and asking the spirits, the guides, the guardians, the keepers, the higher forces to give those who listen to this message what they need to hear this very night. For, to my forehead, to my mouth, to my heart. I will take three cards, choose one, but I would ask you to listen to all three one two three we're gonna go straight to it number one the night of fire the airy aspect of fire in a deep level. This card is fire which needs oxygen to be shining brightly. The message here is clear. Come out from the shadow or from the dark. If any of you are experiencing the dark night of the soul, it is time for that to be over. The card, the symbol of coming out from the dark 
to the light. Fire burning in your heart. It wants you to start new. Stop sitting, hiding from life. Why are you afraid to shine your true light? What stops you? It's enough. It's enough to be sitting out there, hiding. Enough. It's time for you to move to the changes, to unknown. Even if there is no guarantee where exactly you are moving, you are the pyramid. You have been through a lot, but you are fire. This is my, my uh, basic energy, fire. This year, use the colors of the sun, yellow, gold, and red. This card is connected to the third chakra, which is the center of your will. Your desire and your will are now coming together and you need to become free. You need to become free from anything that holds you. No one can hold the wind in the cage. No one can hold the fire. You must understand that a lot of things you are capable of. Some of the creative talents you possess cannot be logically explained. This card talks about higher goals of your souls. And the forces and the guides and the guardians are not going to no longer give you time to sit and hide. Giving yourself excuses that you are a little woman, that you are afraid, that you have fears, that you, you don't know if you can succeed, if this and this and this. The other part of you is the Queen of Cups. Start with one step walking your path and then after one step you will feel more courage to make another one not only you can achieve your goals you can lead other people awakening them Stop dwelling in the environment, which is like a swamp. It's, it's boring. It's not moving. There is no air, no oxygen there. Courage and the power of your spirit. That's what you must take and use. This is who you are. You can build a rocket. You can cross the ocean. You can do it all. This is the year of you doing it. This year is coming. This is the year for you to do that. You can be a hero. You know what? Stop depending on what people will say. You have come here to do your thing. Not to be stopped by what people would say or think. You're not going to be giving more time to sit and wait for something happens by itself. Or telling yourself in this life, you're just not going to try anything else. You're just going to be sitting in a little corner. Hide. Because it's safer this way. Remember, someone who shines brightly will irritate those who don't like the light. Tell them, 
to get themselves a pair of sunglasses from Gucci or five bucks one. Especially this is a message. If you are a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius, for your enemies, you are terrifying, even if you don't know it. Because vampires are terrified of fire. They turn into ash. That is a message for you, number one. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> number two. Via gate. How long are you going to be standing at the gate? Huh? You are standing at the open gate. You don't walk away from the gate. But you are not walking through the gate. This card has a legend about Alexander the Great. When Alexander the Great, according to the legend, looked at the lands he conquered, he started to cry. Those near him were in shock. They said, why are you crying, Alexander? And he said, there is nothing else to conquer. He felt that everything he possesses in the material world doesn't make him happy on a level of spirit. And he feels tired and empty and depressed. This card is very deep what you need to hear unfortunately i see here myself why you are afraid to be bright and successful because you think what if i get it and i don't feel happy this card shows the fear, deep fear, and you have to hear me. Sometimes problems with money, poverty, the blockages of the channel of, of financial abundance is connected with deep fears which you accumulated in your childhood but sometimes in past lives because you could have lived in the countries where the rich and wealthy probably were arrested and blamed in something they have never done and then killed and all the wealth was taken away so deep inside you can have the fear of having something, of showing something, of shining brighter than the others, because you have deep inside fear that if I shine brighter, if I am wealthier than other, then people will envy me, and people will try to hurt me and harm me. And this is why you try to, you are afraid to walk into this gate. But you see, this gate are open. So it's a double, it's doubts which are stopping you. No one stops you from walking through this gate to everything you want. Love, success, creative fulfillment, finances, money. Fulfilling your dream. But you are being stopped only by your inner fears and doubts. Because you think, what, what if I, in, again, this is just for, to make you, why I am giving you my own example, but to make you understand what I'm talking about. 
because the the book I have written, I didn't expect it would do any uh, you know any good. I, it would you know create so so much noise, and it's not even out in English. And the the more it's the more um, people talk about it, the more I am terrified. I am I have the same thing. I have fear of success. Because I'm afraid of those who are going to envy me. Who's those who will try to hurt me with their words. Wealth as well. I have fear of that somehow. Because I, and I'm afraid to disappoint someone. I am afraid to steal what people would say so on. Like that. You have some fears of going and getting and achieving what you want. <clears throat> because someone might not be happy about it. And this, you have to live behind. You have to walk. You have been through a lot. You already came to this game. You have been through so much, my so many obstacles you've gone through in your life. It's unbelievable. But now when you finally came to this gate and you have to make that one last step and walk through it and leave behind what you have to leave behind, still you're not walking through it, but you don't go back as well. Don't let your, you can feel a emotional burnout now. And spiritual burnout. Again, I can tell you, I can relate to this a lot. And when it's like, oh, whatever, I don't want to deal with it anymore. Yes, you want. Yes, you you must. You can achieve it all. You are this close to having everything you wanted. And you still, you, you hold yourself from making that last step. I am sure the one who is listening to me now, you know exactly what I am saying. Because you know what I am talking about in your particular situation. You already done through. Uh, okay, it's, it's a song. I walked so far, I fought so hard. You walked so far. You, you fought so hard and now there is like this last step and you stop. And you stop. This card comes from the Ace of Wands. You possess, because Ace of Wands is mirroring our kind of magician. You possess the power of four elements. But suddenly you're lost, you're burned out, you don't know what else. And now you're even asking yourself, do I really need it? Do I really want it? Do I? Yes, you already came to this gate. You just have to walk through. You put yourself into a prison of your own fears and doubt. The empire is already yours. But instead of crying like Alexander the Great, go and make this empire the most amazing in the world. Even if your empire consists of two people or 200 people or whatever. Make it based on kindness, compassion, Empathy, care. You have great ideas, ambitious ambitions. I'm sorry. You can inspire. You can lead. Card is connected with first decade of uh, Aries. Obstacles are nothing what you can go through. The fiery aspect of Mars is a symbol of beginning. That beginning should be you walking through this open gate. What is this open gate? You yourself know. 
you need to take a new role in your life. And you must be the one who writes the scenario for that role. Not someone does it for you. Not someone tells you what to do from their own perspective. You didn't come here to do what someone tells you. You have come here to do what your inner core brought you here to do. Walk through the gate. No time to be neutral. No time to be standing. Decide and act. Decide and act. No more time to be standing at the gate. Card number three. <coughs> okay, how long I have? Just a while. Interesting thing. All three cards are aspects of fire. So that's not going to be a year of sitting and waiting. I have told you about Magician. Please, uh, those of you who haven't watched, this is First Arcana. I am going to put underneath this video in the description box, I will put the meaning of the card of Magician. If you didn't see it, please, those of you who chose number three, watch it. It's here on Patreon. If zero arcana, which comes before magician, the fool, can be a creator, magician is the first arcana. Magician starts pretty much major arcana. Magician knows who he is. Magician not just has the childish creativity and freedom of the full zero arcana. Magician is a master, is a guru. He possesses the power all, all of, you see these symbols right here? He has cups, wands. Pentacles and swords. This card possesses all the elements. Magician is creator. This card is unbelievable sign to you. Nothing which is not within your power. Sun and Mercury. Talent. Gift. Knowledge. The power of a word which creates the world. According to the legend, the world created from the sound Om. That's why every mantra starts with Om or Aum. That is a creator. You are a creator. Not only a creator, a creator of every level of existence. The knowledge of secret science psychic abilities, the messenger of gods who brings the will of gods to people, equivalent to Hermes. He's smart, but he's sly. Even gods of Olympus were very careful with him. He has every knowledge in him. He knows everything. He possesses the power of elements. 
four elements. Hermes, Mercury, Sun. Nobody can influence you or disorient you. No one can hold you a prisoner. But there is something important you need to hear. There is only one enemy which this personality can have himself. He has no enemies among gods. Dark gods, great gods, light gods, everyone is extremely respectful to him because he possesses knowledge of it all existing. But he only has one enemy himself. When he falls into despair or shadow or wanting to be uh, a lot of personalities like this. This is a rare personality. But when they rise very high and get power and fame and wealth, they become their own enemies because they get stuck in a shadow. Whatever your shadow is, you, you, only you know your shadow. What is that shadow? Fear of what? Being lonely? Ego? Fear of being judged? Of being laughed at? Of shining in a crowd? Whatever your fear is, you yourself know it. Probably no one in the world knows your fear but you, because you're a magician. You are a magician. You know and possess powerful elements. You have to understand that enemy that would hold you from being that cosmic magician. Lomniscata, the symbol of eternity, is one of the symbols of this card. You have been so many levels, in so many levels, in so many lives. The elements, the knowledge, the understanding of intellect, intuition, things which are material and non-material, he has it all. There is nothing you cannot do. But the shadow which you have, which prevents you from doing what you want. You yourself know, no one else knows it. And you yourself have to deal with it. This is a card of success, if we can say is this word success, over anything and everything. You have to understand that simply... If you start painting, your uh, paintings are going to become a huge thing. If you write a book, it's going to be a bestseller. If you start something which you feel fire of doing, you have me to touch. If this doesn't ring a bell, then there is this one thing which prevents you from being this, which nobody knows but you. No one rules magician 
not even spirits or gods. He possesses all four elements in his power. And if he is not where he wants to be, he has to fix it and find it in him. All gods, all angels or demons, lights and shadows, he possesses it all. This is what kind of personality this is. Also, this is a person of destiny and thoughtum. I don't envy anyone who did anything wrong to you because the payment is not going to be good for them. If you being this, live your life while someone is pressing your buttons, pulling your strings, tries to manipulate you or hold you in fear, I have no words. It's, it's ridiculous. You can influence a reality. Molecules of water, fire, air, so on. You have the power. But how you use that power is up to you. You have a magic wand. But this is Shiva, a creator and a destroyer for himself first of all, then everyone around him. The wind which you can't put in a cage, the fire which you can't take in hands, it can warm, it can cook food and save from hunger, but it can burn. So you are your biggest treasure and your biggest danger because you possess so much power. This is a message for you. <coughs> this, my beautiful queens, are three cards and three messages in this night of 21st to 25th. I thank you for listening. Namaste.